we have some updates on the Beijing Winter Olympics. The head of the United Nations, Secretary General Antonio Gutierrez, will go to the Games. He accepted the invitation from the International Olympic Committee, or IOC. That's despite a diplomatic boycott by the U.S. and several of its allies. When it comes to the invitation, there is something to clear up. Olympic rules say world leaders and politicians are invited to the Games not by the host country, but by branches of the IOC in different countries. The Chinese regime also acknowledged this during its press conference on Thursday. But a couple weeks ago, Chinese state media seemed to suggest that China, not the IOC, decides who to invite. The Global Times wrote that China has not invited U.S. politicians to attend the Games and has no plans to invite a large number of foreign guests. This came after the U.S. and the U.K. said they were considering a diplomatic boycott. The message seems to be, the boycott is pointless because I didn't invite you anyway. And Chinese state media also seems to omit something when they report on France's stance on the boycott. In a report on Friday, Guangxia News reported that French President Macron said France would not follow suit with the boycott and that a diplomatic boycott of the Games is insignificant and merely symbolic. The article also mentioned that France's education and sports minister ruled out a boycott. Let's take a look at what Macron actually said on Thursday. He did question the usefulness of a diplomatic boycott, but he did not rule it out. You must be clear. It's either you say you boycott and you don't send athletes, or you say you try to re-engage and try to make a useful action. As with all things on the international stage, I prefer to do things that have a useful effect. And at the same time, France's foreign minister said France should coordinate with other European Union countries on this issue. The EU has not made a decision yet. So far, members of the Five Eyes Alliance have announced not to send officials to the Games. They are the U.S., Canada, the U.K., Australia and New Zealand. And two countries in Europe, Lithuania and Kosovo, have also declared a diplomatic boycott. All these countries are still sending their athletes.